Setting up your gun in the Kestrel is basically pretty easy. You just need to know a couple things. When you're in your home screen, you're going to scroll down to gun, highlight gun, center button to take you in. Scroll up to get into gun and set up the name. Up and down will take you through the different letters and numbers. Muzzle velocity is the first thing that you're going to go in and you're going to set the basic muzzle velocity that you know for your gun. You're going to go down to your DM, that stands for drag model, and that is giving you a choice of G1, G7, or with the Elite, you get a custom curve. So preloaded onto the gun are nine custom curves. If you go through our app, you can get hundreds and hundreds of custom curves. Our BC is our ballistic coefficient. So this is something, if you pick a G1 or a G7, you actually have to know your BC, and that can be challenging sometimes. Looking up on the internet or contacting the manufacturer is the best place to get it. BW stands for bullet weight. We're going to be setting your bullet weight here. You can find the weight on either the ammo box or online. Your bullet diameter is 264. 260s and 65s are actually 264 inches is the bullet diameter. Your bullet length, this is one that you need to know. When you press the center button, when BL is underlined, you're going to go in and you can turn auto calc to on. We recommend that you always leave auto calc on. Zero range, you can set up in either yards or meters. If it's already set into yards and you need to go into meters, center button to go in, change it to meters, and then accept it out. We're on yards, so we're going to stay in yards and make sure it's set to 100 yards. Your bore height. Here's something that people need to know. It's that your bore height you measure from the center of your bore to the center of your scope. You want to make sure that your bolt's back, that you can see into the bore, and you want to measure right to the center of the scope. Now this is one that people can get stuck on. You don't have to be exact. For this one, I'm gonna say three inches. Your zero height and your zero offset is if you would screw on a suppressor and you know it's always gonna move a certain way, that would adjust your height and your offset is your left right. So your rifle twist, on this rifle I have a one and eight twist. So one and eight is actually eight inches. If you hear a one and 10, it's 10 inches. The Kestrel defaults to 11.25 because that was the standard in 308s. RTD is your twist direction. 99% of guns are gonna be a right twisting barrel. If you have a left twisting barrel, trust me, you know, and you can put it in that way. Your E unit is your elevation unit and E click. Your W unit is your windage unit and same with W click. It goes through mills, TMOA, SMOA, and clicks. I have a mill. Your basic gun profile is now complete. The next step is to true your muzzle velocity.